Hi everyone. So, do you like the shirt I made? It says love. Obviously it says love. I made it this morning. It's interesting because as I do these updates for this YouTube channel, if you, if you guys watch my other videos for my other YouTube channel, you'll see, hi Carly. You see this like guy that is so excited and expressive. And then like I go to make these videos about this foster to adopt journey that I'm on. And every time I go to do it, I don't, I don't, I just wanna like get the phone out. I'm literally like holding the phone right now. Not something I do in my other videos. I just wanna like get the phone out. I don't care what I'm, what's around me. I don't care like, and I just wanna make an authentic video. So I'm gonna keep rolling with that. Um. Wow, some amazing things have happened. So the last time I made an update, I believe I had just finished some classes or something like that, but let me recap. So I showed you guys some of the donated things that I got. Someone donated a crib, someone donated a stroller, someone donated a bassinet um, and some other stuff. And I'll show you a little bit of that in this video as well. But I had my second class, in-person class, because at least in Los Angeles, you're required to do a ton of classes. So I had to do 10 online classes, which I did. And then I had to do, um, no, and then I had a, another online class, which was like some on, on um, bias, biases and stuff like that. And then I had, I have to do five in-person classes. So I did my one and then la this week I did my second and third class. Um, and it was really cool because in that class there was another gentleman who's single as well and he's fostering. So it was nice to see another single guy. Um, and it was like just he and I and the foster adoption agency woman. Um, so that was nice. And that, those classes, oh my gosh. Okay, so the first, the, the first one we did, which was the, uh, the second class, was all about, um, actually, I don't even really, it's not that I don't remember, it's just not that, it's just not very important. What I really wanted to talk about was the third class. The third class, I literally thought I was gonna start crying in this class. It was all about LGBTQ youth that are in the foster program and how neglected they have, they have been historically over time by their families and also even in foster situations. And it was just so unreal the way that these kids get treated. I like, um, at one point they were showing the LA Gay and Lesbian Center and their youth program. And it was so crazy because when I got to Los Angeles, I was 23 and I still fell in the, pro in the, in the uh, age range of a youth for their program because the youth went up to like age 24 or something. And it was just so like, it was like I was looking at myself, like being in Los Angeles pretty much alone. I didn't have family here at all. Navigating literally the streets of LA, discovering who I am, but having the LGBTQ center there to support me through that. And then I'm watching it, knowing I'm watching it as a 34 year old man who is like put together. His life could not be any like further from different than what it was at that time. And I'm about to have a child. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. It was just really, really moving for me and, and just like full circle, completely full circle. So we did that. And then 
Today, it's Saturday. <laughs> What's that? Two things. Like, this is really the most important thing to me because they work hard and they work. That's my fast other YouTube channel going off, you. guys. In the in there we go. Okay. I was watching a video of mine, and I guess it just decided to start playing. Weird. Anyway, so today, Saturday, I had the a uh, home inspection because you guys know that I had to move um, to a new place and to have more space and also because of the pool situation and things like that at the old place. Now I'm in my new apartment and um, they came today to do the inspection and it passed. So there are a couple things that I have to do. I have to get taken care of. Simple things like buy a lockbox for med medication and stuff like that. Um, I have to get that done. She was like so happy to see the place and she loved it, the the woman from the agency. And she said, Kevin, like everything's working, everything's falling in line. And that was so nice. Um, she even said, she's like, I'm so excited for you. And then, um, so she came over, I did that. I showed her everything. Um, and I said to her, so what are, you, what are you thinking as far as timeline? And she looked at me, she's like, Kevin, <laughs> We're going to be finished this by the end of October the, or the first week of November. And I was like, wait, what? Like, like I'll be approved by then? She's like, yeah. And once you get approved, you are, you can get a phone call the next day that they have a child for you. It's just like crazy, man. Like this has been... I think it's been two months so far, maybe even a month and a half, I don't know, but we have been cruising through this. Um, it's put a lot of, it puts a lot of things in perspective for me. Like I drive down the street and I think to myself like, oh Kev, you gotta like slow down. You know, one day there'll be a kid in this car or I think about, I think about everything. Like what are the kids sleeping habits? Will they be like, you know, and when will I take a shower with a baby in the house and I'm single? So when do you take a shower? Do you take a shower with the child? Do you bathe the child at night? Do you like, what do you do? You know, all these, these things go, go through my head and, you know, like, thank God that I'm fostering to adopt a newborn to, you know, like nine, 10, 11, 12 months old because they're not in school and that's a major thing because with the pandemic, everyone is having to homeschool right now and distant learning. And I, I, that's not something I think I could do right now with work and things like that. And, and not even with work, I think it's more about like, there's, it's just a different parenting than it is with a newborn. Um, and so I process all those things and you know, I talk, I've, I've been talking to more people about this and I'm excited. I will say that I did go, I did like, I have met some people romantically and it, I definitely think about like what that looks like in my life and how that'll change. And what I have found is that the people that I've spoken to or went on dates with or was interested in um, as of late, and not that it's been a lot because it hasn't been, um, are definitely often excited and think it's a wonderful thing what I'm doing. But to be quite honest, like sometimes I wonder, like, I don't want you to live your life vicariously through me. And because, you know, as gay men, like, Raising children is not something that you grow up thinking you're gonna ever get to do. So, hey Lake, he's playing. Anyway, so that's where I'm at right now. So next week we go and I do my next two classes. I will do, uh, wait, I did one, two, three. Okay, so then there's four and five next week. And then the week after that is six and seven. So there's a total of seven in-person classes. So I'll do, next week I'll do uh, four, five, six, 
four and five. And then something like that. Two more, and then there's two more after that. I don't even know anymore. Um, and then it'll be the home study, which is that long intensive process where they ask you all these crazy questions about your entire life. Um, and then we'll be in November, the beginning of November, and we'll be done this process. So let me show you guys some stuff. I wish I could turn the camera around, but I wanna try and get this in one shot. So this is a bassinet that was given to me. Hold on, there we go. We're just gonna do this. So that is a bassinet that was given to me. And then the stroller situation, which is just like, I can't believe this is even in my house, it's insane. Oh, I didn't put it on all the way because I showed her, but basically, the stroller, um, I have to hook it in correctly because I took it off to show the agent, the woman from the agency. Um, that was, both of those things were all donated to me. And then the crib was donated to me. So here's a little learning thing. So I purchased, um, I was talking about, okay, so in my video last time, I was talking about how I wasn't sure if I should get like neutral color for the sheets or whatever, or like blue or pink for boy or girl, because I don't know if I'm gonna get placed with a boy or girl or not. And I just went to Target and I was like, I'll just get gray because gray is great. But even for me, like this is like a plum purple color, like my sheets, um, cause purple is my favorite color. Um, but guys, I got a sheet, it says crib fitted sheet. It's standard crib mattress, fully elastic. And it's like way too big. It's it's just like, I had to like go in here and tuck it way far down. I don't know everything, try my best. So I'm gonna go exchange that and figure out what I did wrong. And then someone else donated this wonderful baby changing station. So I have that. Um, and I just have like a couple stuff. I just, so I can't really buy, I can't buy a lot of stuff right now because I don't know how old the child is gonna be. So, but I did buy these pacifiers because they were, they're super cheap. And I was like, let me just get them. So these are uh, zero to six months old, ultra soft. And I didn't open them, obviously, so if I get placed with an eight month old child, then I'll take them to Target that day and just exchange them. Um, but I do know that they're trying to place me with as young as possible, a uh, child as young as possible. Another thing like changing tables, I didn't know that there was like these little like straps. What are these kids gonna be doing when I'm changing them, jumping around and stuff? Um, and then here, this I hear is like a godsend this thing, it like, if you turn it on, it starts like vibrating for them. I guess maybe it feels like they were in their room or something, they're in the room or something. Oh, and this is like one of my favorite things. So I don't know, just something about this is super cute. So this little thing is, they sleep in here and it's like, it, this is not for you, Lake. Get out. <laughs> it's, they sleep in here and like, it's, it's, you can pack it up and take it with you. Um, but it's not, obviously it's not for them to sleep and sleep in. It's like if you want to lay down on your bed or something like that next to them and let the, the baby kind of rest there while you're resting and you don't roll onto them or they don't roll off the bed type of thing. So those are the things that I got. What I'm going to do is go for that sucker right there, uh, put that back in there correctly. And then I'm going to be going to... California Highway Patrol to get them to uh, put the base of the car seat in my car because I don't know how to do it. Because um, that is the situation where you just put the child in the car seat and the car seat goes from the stroller to the car. That way you don't have to take the baby in and out. And I bet you like all the moms are like, duh, you don't need to explain this to me. <laughs> but that's what this channel is all about, me going through this. So yeah, that's about it. We're at 15 minutes. It's a long video, almost 15 minutes. Um, the GoFundMe has been going really well. We've raised $1,200 so far. That is gonna really help out when the baby comes. And it also helped me get into the new place a little bit. So uh, that was really nice. 
Um, I really, really appreciate everyone's assistance with that. And if you do want to donate, please feel free. It's gofundme.com forward slash Kevin adopts. I'll put the link below. And also guys comment, like if you have any questions for me about fostering, because I know there have been people who have reached out and asked me questions about the foster situ situ situation and things like that. I can tell you my experience. I am not like a veteran at this or anything like that, but I can definitely tell you my experience. Okay, that's it. Bye everyone. Hope you have a great night.